It would appear that at one time, Redfall was in development for the PlayStation 5, and obviously that is no longer the case. We know it will be an Xbox exclusive. I want to talk about the reaction to this and sort of my feeling on exclusives, because a lot of people seem to be asking me about this. They want me to talk about this story, so let's talk about it right now. So the long and the short of it is IGN France got this story and it's translated via IGN. It says in an interview with IGN France, Arcane's Harvey Smith explained, we got bought by Microsoft and that was a huge sea change. They said, no PlayStation 5, we're going to do Game Pass, Xbox and PC. I don't particularly see any issue with that. Redfall was never announced for the PlayStation 5. Uh, Redfall was never planned to be released for the PlayStation 5. There's no marketing saying it was going to come to the PlayStation 5. And now we know officially that it's it's not being released there. It's only releasing on Xbox, PC, places where Game Pass is, right? Like they said during the Bethesda announcement initially. Um, he continued on and he actually said this helped him out a bit. Harvey Smith said, originally Redfall was meant to release on all platforms. Smith said that the studio didn't mind that decision. However, he continued support from Game Pass and have to worry about one less platform, one less complexity. And Game Pass has a ton of people that can play. It could be our biggest game ever because of the 30 million Game Pass members or whatever that number is. So th they don't seem to particularly mind not needing to develop for the PlayStation 5. They're not worried about it. And my whole take on it is, yeah, Xbox bought Bethesda. So if they want to make those games exclusive, that's totally fine. And I, I'm actually not against exclusives, period. I'm not against Final Fantasy being released on the PlayStation 5. I'm not against uh, games, exclu game ex games exclusively releasing on one platform. The stuff I don't really like, to be really clear, like Destiny used to do this thing where exotics would only come to PlayStation 5 for like a year. And by the time they came to Xbox, the, the gun was like nerfed or whatever, right? That kind of stuff I find very annoying uh, missions or things like that. So third party games that release with gameplay elements that are only available on one platform, which by the way, the Call of Duty deal would eliminate, which would be kind of nice. It means you could kind of play Call of Duty wherever you would prefer to, and you wouldn't feel like you're missing out on anything important. So um, this happens a lot. I have a few notes over here. This happens a lot, actually. This happened with Gears of War. Gears of War originally had a PlayStation version in development, and then it was scrapped. And nobody really cares about Gears of War. Gears of War, as we know now, is a, a well-loved, well-liked uh, Xbox franchise. A lot of people love, love the series. Some people just like it. Uh, I, I really enjoyed the last Gears of War, and I'm looking forward to seeing the next one. Um, and a lot of people point to this as proof that Xbox will make Call of Duty exclusive after 10 years, right? The difference is at no point was Xbox out there offering everybody a 10-year contract for Redfall or for Starfield for these games that didn't exist before Xbox purchased Bethesda. They were in development, sure, but they were never released. They were never marketed. And Ghostwire, that contract was agreed upon and honored by Xbox and they released it. That's their prerogative as a business. However, they want to release their, their products makes sense. The call of duty thing makes sense. It's a huge profit margin. And maybe on year 11, they do decide to get rid of all those contracts. I don't think that'll happen, but it could happen. And then we can talk about it then. But uh, I, I wouldn't particularly care. I don't think if, if that game ended up leaving PlayStation one day, my thought on it, is when a franchise is exclusive to one platform, I'll just play on that platform, right? Even Destiny, when Destiny was exclusive to the PlayStation 4 and it had all the exclusive strikes and stuff like that, that's where I played. I played on PlayStation 4. It is a smart strategy for releasing games. Do I like that when they have exclusive content on one platform and I can't play on my preferred platform? No. But for full exclusive games, 
it's sort of like while they're developing that experience on that platform, they can focus the development resources there and then I'll just play it there. Not a big deal. I, I'm in a very fortunate position where I can play on whatever platform that I prefer. And honestly, most of the times I prefer PC. So um, yeah, that's sort of the long and the short of it. What else did I write down here? And just give me a second. By the way, if you like these videos and you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. But if you like this sort of content, hit that like button because it does help YouTube share it with the algorithm. So if you want to support, you can support it that way also. So like Street Fighter, you know, Street Fighter was PlayStation exclusive by a PS5. Spider-Man games, there's no Spider-Man games coming to Xbox in the near future. Those are PlayStation 5 exclusive, even though I used to play tons of Xbox Spider-Man games back in the day. Uh, Silent Hill 2 Remake, I have to buy a PlayStation 5. And then the game that comes up all the time is Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls 3 was an Xbox exclusive. Morrowind was only on the Xbox platform. And uh, I believe Oblivion had a one-year timed exclusivity window. And people are like, oh, they're taking away Elder Scrolls. It's sort of a... a they're not taking away Elder Scrolls Online. They're not taking away Fallout 76. Those will remain multi-platform. And in the future, Elder Scrolls could go back to being Xbox exclusive. We don't know if that's a timed exclusive thing or whatever, but as, as far as I know, what they've said indicates that the bespoke single-player experiences for Elder Scrolls will remain console exclusive now as well as Fallout. And again, they've made that purchase. So like if... PlayStation bought Square and every Final Fantasy game was going to be exclusive going forward. Okay, I know that now. They own the company, so that makes sense to me. Xbox owns Bethesda, so those games will be console exclusive. That makes sense to me. And I think we're going to very soon enter a time where we're all just going to have apps on our televisions anyway, and we'll be playing whatever game we want just by opening a different app. The whole console tribalism thing on the Xbox side and the PlayStation side I think that's slowly going to evaporate over time. It's just it's just really um, contentious right now because a lot of people can't just click an app. You have to buy the you know five six hundred dollar box to get those games. So basically, here's where the story was announced: uh, a PlayStation Five version of Redfall was in development, then cancels. Cancel confirmed Arcane director Harvey Smith. Now this has created a lot of discourse online. Some people are upset. Some people aren't. Now. I'm going to pick on the red dragon a bit because uh, I think he's been pretty hypocritical about his stance on this whole thing. So let, let's look what he has to say here. He is in 2020, just in January saying Redfall missing basic shadows. Here he is in 2023 leaker who called hi-fi rush releasing today before the show. Uh, they want to push games out the door for shareholders. Redfall is in rough shape, but a lot better than Starfield currently is. So, He's saying that Starfield is bad and Redfall is bad and that they're just shoving it out the door. He says that a huge backlash erupts at Xbox's Redfall fans vow not to buy the game following always online announcement for even the single player portion. That's right. I forgot to talk about that one, but Redfall will require always online, which, yeah, that sucks. That's not great, but... There he is calling out another negative about Redfall. New Redfall video from Bethesda released today. The like to dislike ratio is interesting. It is bad. So, you know, or 50-50. What else did he say about Redfall? Anyone feeling like this Redfall gameplay has played too long? Nothing special about it at all. PC gamer Redfall's world is empty and bland. Boring missions fails to get the blood pumping and has the marks of a game that had development trouble. Giant bomb. I hope there's a lot more polishing to do. And then today... IGN PS5 version of Redfall was in the works, was scrapped after Microsoft came in and bought Bethesda. Microsoft walked in and said, no PlayStation 5, we're focusing on Xbox and PC. Phil Spencer pulled games from PS5 at CMA, at LenaCon, FTC, <laughs> uh, at all the regulators, right? <laughs> you, you've been dunking on this game for months. It's like all you tweet about. And then you find out that at one point in real in time, <laughs> uh, it was being made for the PlayStation Five, and you tweet the FTC and the CMA. <laughs> you you don't want it. 
you clearly don't want it. You've been dunking on it for months, but now it's a big deal. It's it's just like that's the sort of thing that I see online a lot. And I see it on the Xbox side too sometimes where you know they'll they'll dunk about something and then it's it's a little hypocritical. But like that's very hypocritical, Dragon, to to do that. <laughs> uh then I was like, well, you know what? Let's give him a shot. Maybe he's done the same thing with Final Fantasy. Maybe, you know, he obviously Final Fantasy can be created for Xbox. Final Fantasy games have been coming to the Xbox platform. So maybe he did the same thing. Let's see what he said about Final Fantasy games. Uh, Final Fantasy 16 dev says only PS5 can handle the game. Okay. Interesting. He did say that. Uh, all right. Got that one. Uh, we'll showcase the power of the PlayStation 5. Uh, Microsoft states Final Fantasy 16 and Silent Hill 2 remake will not come to Xbox consoles. Okay. Uh, games may not release on Xbox consoles this generation. Square Enix is keen to keep releasing every game on PC. Final Fantasy announced for PlayStation 5, PlayStation console exclusive, and Square Enix says there are no plans to release Final Fantasy 7 remake on Xbox. So, like, what is it? You know, it's interesting that there's no issue with... Final Fantasy being exclusive, even though Final Fantasy games have been coming out on Xbox a bit, right? But if it's Starfield, the game that was never never announced for PlayStation, it was never announced for PlayStation. There is one interview where they allude to the fact that maybe it was going to come to PlayStation at one point, uh, but there is no piece of marketing material that says coming to PlayStation 5 on it. If I'm wrong, correct me, but I have never seen that. So if I am incorrect, same thing with Redfall. This is a game that was in development. And yes, you can develop things for multiple platforms like with Gears of War and then make a decision later on. And I see this argument all the time about console exclusives. I am not concerned about full game console exclusives. I am excited as heck to play Final Fantasy 16 on my PlayStation 5. I loved Returnal on my PlayStation 5. I've talked about that ad nauseum. God of War Ragnarok was my game of the year last year on PlayStation 5. It's a PlayStation 5 exclusive. But when Xbox buys a company and as a business, it is their right to make a game exclusive if they choose to do so. And I find it a little ridiculous that anybody finds that upsetting. I just don't, I don't understand what the big deal is. People feel like something's being ripped away from them. Well, yeah, that's how that that's a business strategy that they've decided to implement. And if that makes you upset, okay, that makes you upset. But PlayStation's also decided to implement the same business strategies with Street Fighter, with Spider-Man games, with Silent Hill 2, with Final Fantasy 16. That's just how the industry works. And the deal at the end of the day, you know what it's going to do for the next 10 years? All of that's over for Call of Duty. And likely all of the other Activision games, because I do believe there has been a concession by Microsoft to say, yeah, we're still going to release all those games with parity on all anybody basically who wants to sign a contract with us. So I don't understand the argument. Make it make sense to me why, why it's an issue that a company who made a deal has decided to release that game exclusively on a platform. It's the hypocrisy of the the question that bothers me. And that's why I don't think that argument holds as much water for PlayStation fans who want to make that argument about Xbox making a game exclusive because Xbox fans just say, well, why aren't you mad about Final Fantasy being exclusive then? Because if that is your argument, if you're mad about Redfall and Starfield being exclusive, then you should be mad that Final Fantasy 16 is a PlayStation exclusive. But there isn't anger for that online. Even though... Square Enix has been releasing Final Fantasy games on the Xbox platform. Not all of them, but there have been several released on Xbox. And now we're, Xbox fans aren't going to get Remake. They're not going to get Final Fantasy 16. Those will be PlayStation exclusives as far as we know. So if you're going to be mad about one, you got to be mad about both. Otherwise, you're just being hypocritical, right? And uh, I'm not mad about either. But I don't like... I, I will say that I don't like when they take guns out of a game and make that console exclusive guns like in destiny, because that actually impacts the gameplay experience of the game. I don't like stuff like that. I don't like game versions having exclusive missions ripped out. I believe Hogwarts legacy had that recently where they had like a whole mission that was only on PlayStation. 
Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, I believe the PlayStation version was exclusive for a year or several months or something like that. I don't know off the top of my head, but I don't like stuff like that, right? But full games that were never announced or marketed for PlayStation, okay. Xbox owns that company. I, I guess they're going to make it exclusive. PlayStation struck an agreement for Final Fantasy 16, and I actually appreciate that Square Enix has said, yeah, we're making it for PlayStation 5. Great. That's like, <laughs> it's an easy buy, right? To know that, okay, it's only on one platform. I'll, I know I can pre-order it there. I'm not worried about it anymore. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I, and I'm not actually, sorry to pick on Red Dragon, but I just, it illustrated the point so well. It's just dogging on Redfall and how much you hate Redfall. And then as soon as you find out that it was in development for PlayStation 5, anger, an angry reaction to it, right? But for Final Fantasy, there's no sort of concern whatsoever. So it makes the argument less persuasive that you're actually concerned about this sort of behavior, right? And um, I, I just thought I wanted to show that. And I thought it was very easy to see, find the Red Dragon's tweets and just show you and, and why I don't agree with them. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't pick on Red Dragon, though. Uh, that wasn't meant. This wasn't meant to be like, I feel a little bad because I left his name on. But so sorry. But like, don't don't go dogpile on Red Dragon. That's not what the goal was. Right. The goal was to illustrate what I see online a lot and why it doesn't hold water with me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like my content, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to know when my content goes live. And thank you so much to the members for supporting. If you want to support this content, you can do so by clicking the join button. It is right down there. Ding. Where is it? Where's the button? Ding. There it is. All right. And if you want to see what's going on with the Activision case, you can do so in this video right over here. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now, everybody.